What's going on on my YouTube? It is, I'm Jacob, and welcome to another installment of Celebrating Disney, where each and every week I review and celebrate all things Disney, regardless of quality, animated, or live action under the main Disney banner. I got a live action review this week, and in today's video, I'll be reviewing the 1993 sports film, Cool Runnings. When a Jamaican sprinter is disqualified from the Olympic Games, he enlists the help of a dishonored coach to start the first Jamaican bobsled team. Cool Runnings was originally released in 1993. The film was directed by John Turtletop, who later went on to direct the two National Treasure films starring Nicolas Cage. And this was a movie I had seen once a long time ago. I remember liking it as a kid, but for some reason I didn't watch it that much, and I kind of forgot about it. But this was one of the Disney films that was requested this year when I was asking for requests for my Celebrating Disney series. I finally got around to covering Cool Runnings again. I rewatched it on Disney Plus, and honestly, rewatching Cool Runnings after so long made me realize one, not only do I love this movie, but I think. This is a contender for one of the best sports movies ever made. Now granted, this is a 90s film through and through. You definitely see some of the cheese in a lot of, especially your 90s sports films. Like I'd put this on the same level of tone that something like the Mighty Ducks had in the 90s. But that's not a bad thing. I thought The Mighty Ducks was a great sports film that put the feel and feel good. And the film was surprisingly funnier than... I expected. And I feel the same way with Cool Runnings, but maybe just a little bit better than with The Mighty Ducks. Because Cool Runnings, unlike The Mighty Ducks, is loosely based on a true story. We follow these four guys from Jamaica who actually are the underdogs and they form a bobsled team and you're like, Jamaica, right? Jamaica, that island with a warm climate? How can four guys from Jamaica do bobsledding? How can they run on the ice and handle these freezing temperatures? But they were able to pull that off, and we get to see that throughout the course of the movie. And this movie is a load of fun. Yeah, the movie's cheesy, but I love the lighthearted nature of this story. And I love the movie's emphasis on comedy. The chemistry between these four Jamaicans that we see throughout the course of the movie is awesome. I genuinely loved all four of these characters, especially our two main characters we follow, the leader, played by an actor named Leon, and then his sidekick, played by Dougie Doug, who I recognize as a kid, I recognize his voice, uh, he's played one of the reggae jellyfish in Shark Tale. Different story for another day, but I just wanted to throw that out there. But Dougie Doug, I would say, was probably the scene stealer of the whole movie. He was easily the funniest, the most charismatic of the four. And I just love seeing his personality on screen. But all four guys are fantastic, and I love seeing you know, the camaraderie between the four. They start off kind of they start off as underdogs and there's tension between the four, but you see them grow as a team throughout the course of their journey. To where they become more of a family unit by the time we get to the movie's end, which I thought was pretty awesome. And then we have our coach in the film who is played by John Candy. And that's part of the reason why this movie is elevated for me. Because yeah, you have your typical sports movie story, your underdog story who learned to overcome the odds and inspire the world. But then you cast John Candy as the coach, and he elevates it and adds more of a heart to the story than what was already there. Because before, you just get all the comedy stuff, and the comedy is already great. But then John Candy brings it up an extra notch and brings such a sincere performance. And that's quite a shock to say, because John Candy's character, he's very disgraced at the beginning of the story. He's an alcoholic. He's disgraced from the sports industry because of a scandal that happened in his past. He cheated in the past, and so he's was stripped of his title and gold medals. And so even though he's jaded and losing everything, you see a redemption even in his character, which was really awesome to see as well. I and mean, then John Candy even brought so much heart, even though he starts off jaded and cynical and 
unlikable in the first act of the movie, the more he grows and the more he regains composure in himself and with the rest of the team, he has a great arc as well that I thought was actually very inspiring, especially a speech he gives to the Olympic board defending his team, which I thought was very awesome to see. Again, this movie has great comedy. I think this movie is very well done on a story level. But the two things that elevate this movie above your typical sports story, like I said, John Candy for one thing, and two, the movie's message. I thought the movie's message was pretty bold for a sports movie because most of your sports movies involve going for the win. But this movie is more about enjoying the moment. That's what I love more than anything about this movie because I love sports stories where you see people overcoming the odds. Cool Runnings did it in a different concept because nobody could take these four Jamaicans seriously because there had never been a Jamaican bobsled team before. And so people just could not take these guys seriously at first. But by the end of the movie, without diving too deep into spoilers, if you haven't seen this film, it didn't matter if they won or lost it was more about the respect that they got as a team because people were finally, by the end, starting to take them seriously. And that's how I'll say without diving into heavy spoilers. The ending of the film was so well done. It was actually a pretty emotional ending, too, and it's one of the most like crowd-pleasing moments I think I've seen in any sports movie, and it's very well done on an emotional level. And the score from Hans Zimmer, actually, elevated that to the highest level. I don't think it's Hans Zimmer's best score because it falls a little bit on the cheesy side, but he really delivers an emotional punch when you get to the final payoff at the end. So if you haven't seen Cool Runnings in a while, I think this movie's really great. I think what elevates it, like I said, the likability of our four main characters, which I thought was very well done. I love the chemistry between the four actors, especially... Leon and Dougie Doug were the standouts who were the two main characters of the four. John Candy was an absolute delight as the coach and then the ending and the message of just embracing what you've got instead of going for the win I thought was a powerful message and I think it does a great job of showing sportsmanship in the in the industry and I really love that considering I'm not into heavy sports. This is a fantastic movie with a lot of great life lessons also having high entertainment value as well. The movie is very entertaining from start to finish. A little bit cheesy, and you can tell this was a product of its era as a 90s sports family film, but the best elements of the movie elevate it from being a cliched 90s sports family film, and I think Cool Runnings is awesome in its own right. I do highly recommend this one. Check it out on Disney Plus if you haven't already. And at the end of the day, I'll be giving Cool Runnings a four and a half out of five stars. And on the 100 point scale, it's getting an 87 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Cool Runnings as part of my Celebrating Disney series, where each week I review and celebrate all things Disney, regardless of quality, animated or live action, under the main Disney banner. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're a fan of Disney, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out my Celebrating Disney playlist, where you can check out all the other Disney reviews I've covered on the channel, whether my animated or live action reviews. If you're new to this series, each week I alternate between animated and live action reviews. My animated reviews I cover in chronological order from the theatrical animated classics to the direct-to-video sequels along with Pixar. And my live action reviews I cover in no particular order. They're freestyle and I leave room for requests. If there's any live action film or franchise you'd like me to tackle in my series going forward, feel free to share your requests in the comments down below. Join me next week in my Celebrating Disney series where I'll be diving into my next animated review. And that'll be for the 2004 animated film Teacher's Pet. Never actually seen this movie, so I can't comment on it. I have no nostalgia for this movie. I don't. I know nothing about Teacher's Pet. I know it was made by, I think, Disney's TV division, the same division that did Kim Possible and Recess and all that stuff. So I'm kind of looking forward to it to see if it's a hidden gem or not. So we'll have to wait and see. Be on the lookout for my review of Teacher's Pet coming to the channel next week. 
But if you've seen Cool Runnings, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!